Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about the length of lists. And yeah, it's pretty simple, you've probably seen this already, but there's this function, len, you can pass in a list and it will return an integer that is the size. So to see an example of this, we could actually pass in a list directly and we can just say hi, just throw some random greetings in here. Hello, what's up? And this is gonna return a number so we can assign it to a variable or what we can do is we can just print it like so and running this and we get the value three. Yeah, it's pretty simple. But the main thing you need to watch out for is that when you have a list, it is zero based. So the first item in the list or the first element in the list has index zero. So when we create a list separately, we'll just call it greetings. And I'm gonna take this list and I'm gonna cut it and paste it up here. And now we can just pass in the greetings variable here. But the main thing you need to understand is that when we print and grab greetings index two, that's going to grab the last element there and running that, we get what's up and three. So if we wanted to generalize this, so like, you know, get it all mathy and stuff, we could say n is the list size. We could say the highest index then is actually n minus one. So when you're studying algorithms or data structures, you'll often see n and it just means the size of the list or the input for an algorithm. So we're not in an algorithm class right now, but essentially you could think of it like this. Let's say we created a loop for item in greetings and then we could just print that item. So running this, we get all of the data. How complex is this algorithm? If you wanna call it an algorithm, I know it doesn't do a whole lot, but pretty much any sequence of statements can be considered an algorithm. Well, this has the complexity of n or what you might see big O of n because if we increase the list size, the number of times this has to execute is the same as the list size. This executes three times. If we increase this to four, well, now it's going to run four times. So we'll probably be touching on a little bit of algorithm analysis or just understanding how complex things get as the size of lists grow. This one's not so bad because if we double the list, the, the time it takes is just going to be twice as long. But for some processes, it's gonna be more than that. It might be n squared. So if we double the list, it actually really affects the performance negatively. The only other thing I have to say about list lengths is that you can use them in a range. So you can say for i in range, and when you pass in the length of something here, length of greetings, you can use i to access via index. So we could say print greetings of i. Make sure you make sure you don't forget a colon there in running this and it works exactly the same way, but now we can work with this i so you could say i comma greetings index of i and it'll print 0, 1, 2 and 3. Range is nice cuz it already works really well with the offset. So for example, if you grab the range 5 to 10, well, the five is included and the 10 is excluded. So it really helps prevent you from going out of the bounds of a list and it helps you start at the right position. So this would start at index five and it would stop at index nine, but nine included, 10 excluded. So that's how when we pass in the length here, we're passing in the value four, but we actually get zero through three. It starts at zero included and it goes up to four excluded so stopping at three and we get zero through three so yeah i'm rambling now so let's move on to the next video